The Wire is the 42nd episode of the television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, the 22nd episode of the second season. This was the first episode that dealt with Garrick's past. Plot <inaudible> 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 As he and Julian Bashir wait in line for lunch, Garrick appears to be having severe headaches. He refuses to allow Bashir to help, becoming irritable and leaving to Bashir's bemusement. Confiding in Jadzia Dax, Bashir realizes he hardly knows the man with whom he has been eating lunch for almost two years. He later hears Garrick discussing a deal of some sort with Quark and becomes suspicious. The next day, Quark calls the infirmary and asks Bashir to come to the bar immediately. There he finds a heavily intoxicated Garrick who, after a brief struggle, collapses in pain. Bashir finds that Garrick has an implant of some sort in his brain, which he believes is related to whatever Garrick and Quark were discussing the night before. He solicits Odo's help and the two of them eavesdrop on Quark later that night. Quark tries to order a piece of Cardassian biotechnology, which turns out to be classified by the Obsidian Order. Constable Odo explains that the Obsidian Order is, "...the ever-vigilant eyes and ears of the Cardassian Empire", an intelligence service more ruthless than the Romulan Tal Shir. When Bashir returns to the infirmary, Garrick is gone. When he arrives at Garrick's quarters, Bashir finds the Cardassian has taken massive doses of a tranquilizer, enough that any normal person would have passed out. Garrick is obstinate but eventually reveals that the implant was given to him by the head of the Obsidian Order, Anabran Tain. It was designed to make him resistant to interrogations if caught, but he has been using the implant to cope with the pain of living in exile. However, it was never designed for continuous use and is breaking down. Garrick claims he deserves his punishment and tells how he once destroyed a ship containing 98 Kardashians, including his best friend, Elam. He then collapses. Bashir turns the implant off and, robbed of the endorphins it produced, Garrick becomes extremely agitated. He explains that Elam was his aide, and rather than killing Elam, he was exiled for releasing a group of Bajoran children he was supposed to interrogate. The worst part of his exile, he says, is that he has actually begun to enjoy life aboard Deep Space Nine, which he calls, "...torture". After expressing disdain for the station and Bashir, Garrick again loses consciousness. Medical tests reveal that, even with the implant off, Garrick is still dying. Bashir is unable to explain why and considers turning the implant back on. However, Garrick refuses to ever activate it again and decides to tell Bashir the truth, which Bashir has given up on finding. In the new version of events, Elam was not Garrick's aide but his childhood friend. The two were both powerful men in the Obsidian Order until a scandal erupted involving someone who released a group of Bajoran prisoners. Panicking, Garrick tried to frame Elam, but he beat Garrick to the punch and Garrick was exiled. Bashir then decides that the only way to save Garrick is to find a Nabran Tain, the retired chief of the Order, and the one who put the implant in Garrick's head. Bashir finds Tain, who reveals that he has been monitoring Garrick. He tells the doctor that if he were truly Garrick's friend he would allow Garrick to die, however, he agrees to give Bashir the information needed to counteract the effects of the implant. Before departing, Bashir asks Tain what truly became of Elam. Tain simply laughs, confusing Bashir. Elam, Tain says, is Garrick's first name. Garrick makes a full recovery and resumes his weekly lunches with Bashir. During Garrick's recovery, he heard a strange rumor, Odo thinks Garrick was once a member of the Obsidian Order. Pressed for real answers, Garrick tells the doctor that he has given all the answers he is capable of, and that they are all true, especially the lies. 